Hello, students. Welcome to daily English homework. I'm in my office and I am going to check the homework. I'm just setting it up now. There, so you can put that on the screen. So uh, it's been a while since I've done a live stream. It's been a while since I checked homework. So welcome. I'm your teacher, Robin. If you haven't seen me yet, I'm here checking homework every day. Well, almost every day. I do check. I do check homework. Um, I try to do every day. You know how it goes. But within a few, excuse me, within a few days, I check your homework. And good. Good for you, students that do the homework. I, I'm always proud of students who do the homework. Uh, still, I see some people are still cheating, so uh, I can't. I can't really check the homework. I used to always check every little detail, but the, the, these days I can't do that. So I'm always looking for big mistakes, and if I find a big mistake, I'll let you know. But I'm not going to care too much about the little mistakes anymore. Uh, unless you want me to, uh, but you have to be a channel member. So if you're not a channel member, uh, you can be a channel member on my Shaw English, my Learn English Live, my Daily English Homework. You don't have to be a member on every channel, but if you're if you're a member on one of those channels, I'll do whatever you ask. You're my favorite student. All right, uh, let's check the homework. Um, how does this work? Okay, we're going to, uh, uh, there's there's a lot of, well, here, let me, before, before I get into the homework, let's just see who's here. Layla, hello, Robin, my best teacher. Uh, Layla, who are your other teachers? So I know who you're comparing to. Who, you know, why am I the best? Who's your second best? Who's your third best? I believe there's so many pieces of homework to check. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. May's here. Hello. Anna Maria. Hello. May. First time I saw advertisement popped up on this channel before live. <laughs> Good. I got to start making money here. Uh, I monetized the channel. Uh, two... A month ago, one month ago, and good news, I'm going to check it now. I make $15. I've made $15 in March. I released, I don't know, 30 videos, but I, re I made $15. It's a start. It's, it's, a pa it's the path to being the best teacher in the world. All right, I'm, 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 it's been a while since I've done this stuff, so I'm, I'm confused. All right. I don't know how to do anything anymore, I forgot. These are the uh, homework. No, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what to do now, sorry guys. It's, you know, they upgraded this program, so there's some new features. But I don't like the new features. I like the old features. All right, there we go. I'm going to share this screen, and then I can bring on this screen whenever I want. This is the homework. All right, let's see. Ramdison, hello. Rena, Irene, hello. Layla, just $15 US. Is it a little? Well, what do you think? For 100 hours of work, $15, that's not even minimum wage. That is not even minimum wage. And it's not counting the year The year I worked on this channel without any money. Hundreds of videos, hundreds of videos. Anyway, let's check the homework. I'm going to go back. I'm, I'm going to go back to old, old homework first. And if you are watching this chat now, we're going to check your homework first. I'm going back. Rumdi, 
This, yeah, this is the Rumdi Sun. Uh, no, we're, that's too new. We're going to go back, back, back to the really old homework. I haven't responded. There's a lot of homework. Uh, my nightmare. What are you thinking of the new listening videos? Let me know your opinion of these new listening videos that I'm doing. Uh, are they challenging? All right, we have three months ago. So let's see who's here. Uh, Pallavi, there's Layla. Empathy and sympathy. Ooh, this is an old one. Empathy and sympathy from three months ago. Let's bring it to my digital whiteboard. Let's change the font color to black. Hi, Robin. Here's my work. So, sympathy. Sympathy meaning, what does sympathy mean? Tell me in the chat. What does empathy mean? Tell me in the chat. I taught to you before. Hopefully you can tell me the difference between sympathy, sympathy and empathy. This is the review video. Hello, cat. That's common. We always prefer the older version as sometimes new features are annoying. Well, we get used to, with apps and technology. We get used to a certain way and then they change that instead of, you know, three clicks and this action happens. They change it to now four clicks. And that's annoying. And I, especially for you, May, uh, I'm sure you like things to stay the way they are without uh, changes. But uh, that's the world, the way the world goes. It changes. World changes every three months. We have to keep up. Listening test videos are great material to improve our listening skills. I found it practical. Good. Um, today we're I'm drinking. Uh, it's called Teasel. With my fifteen dollars, I went out and bought some Teasel. Uh, it's, a, it's a kind of uh, tea. It says zero. Zero calories, but they do not uh, sponsor this video, but it's still pretty good. All right, let's check Layla. He had absolutely sympathy. Mm, kind of awkward to say absolutely sympathy. Hmm. Uh, seems awkward. Ab we use absolutely more as saying uh, I agree or yes. He had absolute, maybe you want to say he had absolute sympathy for her when she got cancer. Uh, you want to emphasize the sympathy, which is here. Um, let's see. He had... A lot of, uh, I just want to go with a lot of, <laughs> I know that's basic, but it seems to fit best. He had great sympathy. He had significant, I think, a, I think a lot of, sometimes the easy ones, just the easy expressions just work best. He had a lot of sympathy for her when she got cancer. It's okay. Her boss had no sympathy towards her when she was arrested for that issue. Uh, for that issue, let's change it to crime. You're arrested for a crime. You're not really arrested for an issue. Empathy. He loves her so much, therefore, he felt deeply empathy. He felt deep. You're doing it again. You're using the deeply. Why are you using deep empathy? Deep empathy or strong? I think we want to describe it as strong empathy with her and probably towards her. Again, 
like the sympathy, sympathy towards, we're going to have empathy towards her when she lost her mother. Okay. He hugged her in silence when he heard, when he heard sad news about her parents. Okay. There is no empathy in this sentence. Oopsie. There's no empathy in this sentence. So this sentence, I'm sorry, your score is for this sentence is an F, Layla. I'm sorry, you didn't put empathy. Uh, over, so that's going to bring down your score for this homework. Overall, I'm going to give this homework uh, a B plus. But this hurt. This sentence hurt you. I only got a B plus. There you go. Just for fun, Layla, don't cry. It's not really a B plus. Uh, Robin, by the way, did you know why your neighbor, I don't know why my neighbors fight. I don't know. Rumdi san, though listening videos are challenging, but they are important for improving listening skills. Well, not to, you're not just getting listening skills. You're getting a lot of skills, comprehension, uh, vocabulary. There's more to the listening than just listening. Uh, can we count sympathy? Nope. Empathy means how to feel, how to feel how someone's suffering without putting myself in the position. Well, you know, as, as I said in the video, they're very close, but empathy uh, is stronger. Like you, you probably experienced that and you know exactly how that's going. Sympathy is more, okay, I, they're having a bad situation. I never had that bad situation but it, I know it's a bad situation, and I have sympathy. All right, let's check May's homework today. She uh, talked about brain fart. She was doing a paragraph about brain fart. Let's check it. Brain fart means, uh, or a senior moment, your brain stops working for whatever reason and you forget something, something happens. Uh, so brain fart situations happen to me sometimes too. This event took place in my office. One day, you wrote one as the number one. You can't do that. You got to write uh, a word. Did you do this or did ChatGPT do this? One day while my... While working, my colleague, good word, colleague, your coworker, told me that he wanted to go to the clinic. And I replied to him by saying, we're going to put a comma here and capitalize the OK, please go. Since you are not well. During the time he was at the clinic, my boss suddenly asked, where is Stephen? Oh, we don't need a period. Okay. Everyone, including me, just kept quiet and had no answer for that. When Stephen came back from the clinic, I told him that our boss was looking for him and I didn't know where he was. He was a little angry and mentioned didn't I tell you I went to the clinic earlier? At that moment, I felt poor and embarrassed with myself. He had informed me, and I just lost the idea when my boss was asking. I just lost. I just forgot. I lost the idea. We, 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 don't, we don't want to say, I lost the idea. You just want to say, I forgot. Okay, that's your story. I fixed up a few things and uh, not many things, just uh, picking things. And I will post the revised version in the comment section. Akusua, hello. Okay, Robin, I did not know that I missed using sympathy in my second sentence. Yeah. 
I did empathy and sympathy homework one more time using other sentences, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I, I might see that today. I might not. Salma, Liffin, Salma. Who else is here? Ario, Dr. Cario. Layla, brain fart. Uh, Layla did the brain fart. And I lost it. Here we go. Three months ago, Layla wrote this. A brain fart. Last Friday, I had a phone call from my friend. In that call, we agreed to meet each other on Tuesday or Wednesday. She told me that she was going to confirm with me which day would be the best for her to meet me Monday afternoon after checking her schedule because she's a teacher. Well, this is uh, grammatic. You know, Layla, this sentence is grammatically great, but it's a little too long. You don't want to give too much information. She told me that she was going to confirm with me which day would be the best for her to meet me Monday afternoon after checking her schedule because she is a teacher. All right, that's grammatically, you did it, you wrote a really advanced sentence, but our goal is not to write the most advanced and long sentences possible. We're, we want to give the information uh, not all in one sentence. So she told me that she was going to confirm him on Monday afternoon. Uh, but I'll keep it. It's not It's not an emergency to change that, but be careful. We don't want to have three or four lines, one sentence. One day ago, I sent her a voice note to tell her, you didn't confirm which day is the best for you because I can't meet you tomorrow for some reasons. She replied to me, I told you I'm going to confirm with you on Monday, so why did you think that you cannot meet tomorrow? What is the relationship tomorrow and our meeting? And I said to her, tomorrow is Monday. Surprisingly, she said, Layla, what happened to you? Well, Layla, what happened to you? Today is Sunday, not Monday. Well, that doesn't make sense. Tomorrow is Monday. That's correct. Surprisingly, she said, Layla, what happened to you? Today is Sunday. Maybe you want to say Saturday. So this would be a critical error to make your story to make sense. Today is Saturday, not sun, uh, Monday. Sunday. Is that right? What is it? Okay. Okay. I told you I'm going to confirm with you on Monday. Okay. Because then this should be tomorrow is Tuesday. No. Tomorrow... Tomorrow is Tuesday. You got me confused, Layla. Surprise, says, Layla, what happened to you? T today is Sunday, not Monday. Okay, I think I got it all figured out. You had uh, confusing dates here. I'm confused. You had a, a brain fart while you're writing your brain fart homework. I was silent for a few seconds and said, oh, no. Why... Their spacing is off here. Oh, no. I really thought today was Monday. Okay. Then I just kept laughing at myself for about one minute, and I said, I am really having a brain fart because I forgot which day is today. Also, I was insisting on it. Okay. There you go. You had a very critical error with your dates there. Slow down on the homework. All right, let's check the chat. Back hit. Hello. How's it going? Teacher, do you think the students cheat? Yeah, uh, lots of students every day cheat on the homework. Uh, please, how are you? Please, I post my article under of the post, please. I think this time you, you should wrote on our daily routine. Which post? You got to tell me uh, where it is. Uh, 
I'm not going to do the listening. Mm. All right, here is Akosoa. Especially, especially. Let's take a look. Especially, especially. My sister is allergic to nuts, so her food is always specially prepared. Okay. I had my haircut. Spe I think this would be better, especially. Review my notes. Mm. I think both both can work here because mm. it's a special reason, but especially is also for a particular person, or not a particular person for a particular purpose. So, especially, special reason, especially for a particular reason, a special reason. Uh, I think both can work here. Her wedding, her wedding rings are specially made, yes. His traditional dress is specially made, yes. I love watching films, especially, yes. Robin is really good at English, especially grammar, yes. Everyone was angry, especially John. Yes, you shouldn't smoke, especially if you were pregnant. Yes, I love singing, especially gospel music. Oh, you sing gospel music? That's interesting. All right, we'll, we'll say A+. Plus. Uh, where? Where? I lost my... And I'll say all great. Uh, please, it's about articles. Which which video? Which video? The glitch in your brain. All right, May, uh, listening. I'm not going to check the listening. Take stock. Marnawati, Lavanya, Pallavi. Oh, Pallavi. Okay, let's look at Pallavi. She's here. Oh, I checked. I don't know where's Pallavi. There it is. It's a few from Pallavi. Vice versa. Okay, let's check Pallavi's vice versa. Every single person uses their rights for a good, for a good work, and vice versa. Mm, every person uses their rights for a good work, and vice versa. Uh, sorry, I I do not understand. What do you mean rights? My parents are always very nice to me, and vice versa. Okay, that's good. I will make a professor boyfriend and vice versa. Okay, that's good. Uh, the sentence is good. The content, and eh. But this one, uh, every person uses their rights. I don't want, I don't know what you mean by that. So I, I, I think you know how to use vice versa. It's just, I'm not sure. Put a good and a good. And here's Pallavi, uh, especially, especially. Oh, Sleepwalker, Sleepwalker, where's Pallavi? Ah, this YouTube, I lost it. No, we don't want to go there. I want to go here. 
Okay, Plavi, especially, especially. Let's take a look. I have just completed my all, you should say all my chores. Especially, I think this should be especially. Uh, I've just completed all my chores, especially to do my homework on time. I think especially works there because there's a purpose you did the chores. Here's the cake, which I made specially for you. That's okay. Especially every day I was waiting for new English lessons, especially for your English lessons. Thank you. That's correct. When I went to the bookstore, I saw a lot of books, but I chose especially those books, which my teacher suggested to me. All right. Fixed it up a little. Some minor corrections, but all good. Yeah, Akusoi, you have to tell me where it is. I got thousands of comments that are not checked. Victoria, Victoria Sony, hello, hello. All right, let's check uh, Layla's. Especially, especially. He decided to travel the USA, especially to escort his girlfriend. Yeah, okay. Robin filmed this video especially to clarify that, okay, most women in the world fight to receive their rights, especially the youngest. Okay. I love all light colors, especially beige. Okay. I have a question. Could I use comment as a synonym of fight? Yeah, they're not exact synonyms. So they don't, they're not interchangeable, but sometimes they do mean the same thing. Combat is used for war. So you would not say I combat with my sister. You would say I fight with my sister. So uh, in that case, they're not the same. But if you're talking about war, uh, China and Russian troops combated each other or China and Russian troops fought with each other, then it's a synonym. But combat doesn't work well with everyday English. And there you go. I answered that question. That was an easy, that was, I like that question because it was easy. I answered it months after you asked, asked, asked it. I'll just say good job. Teacher, I'm uh, feeling a little bit afraid because you're checking. What are you afraid of? This the whole purpose uh, is the whole purpose of this is to check homework. What there's no reason to be afraid. May says, I did the homework on eight prefixes. All right, all right, May. You don't have to shout. Let's go check it. May says, I did the homework on the eight prefixes. Let's check it. Nobody's interested in the old homework from three months ago. May wants me to check her homework from three days ago. All right, the, the prefixes with the new vocabulary. Eating noodles with your hands is abnormal. Hmm. Says who? Good. Good example. I am rarely absent from work unless I am not feeling well. Okay. The king has decided to abdicate his position due to his health condition. 
Good. What did, you, what did you guys think of the AB prefix video? There's lots of prefixes. Uh, let me check that video quick. I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of checking your homework, but another thought came into my head, and I cannot have two thoughts at the same time. Uh, that video did okay. Wasn't one of my best videos. Made 45 cents, and it got some subscribers. The video did okay. But did you like the prefix video? You got to tell me, nobody, nobody ever says, I like this video, I don't like that video. Everyone is just, we like everything you do, Robin. Well, I don't like that kind of attitude because I want to get better. But if everyone says, whatever you do is good, that doesn't help me. All right, back to May's homework. The meeting has been aborted as the internet connection was unstable. Uh, in this case, the meeting has been aborted. I'm going to say aborted is too formal. So for meetings, we're just going to use canceled. That's kind of collocation. We cancel a meeting. Cancel and meeting always go together. So we usually never say abort a meeting or terminate a me meeting. So in this case, I'm going to say no. You're using abort correctly, but for usage with meeting, uh, no. We got to use canceled. Uh, your next sentence, we should avoid pessimist. Let's put canceled American spelling. American spelling, one L. British spelling, two Ls. Anyway, we should avoid pessimistic people in order for us to not absorb their negative energy. Okay, I like this one for absorb. We should not avoid pessim pessimistic people in order for us to not absorb their negative energy. Good, good use of absorb, good sentence, I like it. This sentence is definitely an A plus sentence. Uh, did you write it or did am I giving A plus to J chat GPT? Don't know anymore. The girl was abducted by the grandfather after her parents divorced, duh, yep. Eating nutritious food is absolutely vital for a healthy body. Yes, he is a victim of child abuse since his mother passed away. Yes, okay, all these are good, except uh, we don't really abort meetings. We cancel the meetings. So there's the prefix uh, video, so good for you. So, yeah, so I'm just going to... Usually abort missions. So I think in the in the video, very fo very formal and babies, but we don't want to talk about that. Victoria Sonny, I didn't complete. Why not? Yeah, Akusa, that doesn't help me. You got to be more specific. Oh, the comma? Uh, probably missed your uh, question. Yeah, I probably... I'm kind of skipping those extra questions. Um, let's go back. Uh, I don't think I talked about the comma rule for especially, especially in the video. Here. All right. I noticed that we put... We have to put commas before especially, not specially, right? Uh, you, it depends on the structure of the sentence. If if especially is in the second half of the sentence, yeah, you're going to use a comma, most likely. Here's May with especially, especially. Take a look at me, especially, especially. I made this cake especially for my friend's birthday. Yes, this sh the shirts are designed especially for the uh, workers. Yes, I enjoy eating all the ice cream. She puts a comma here, especially chocolate flavor. That's okay. She likes to visit Korea, especially during spring. No comma. I don't care. The weather today is especially hot. All good, May. These sentences are perfect. Let 
I'll give you a perfect and a thumbs up and a heart. I don't like the learning numbers video as I have difficulty with numbers and math. Does this sound like a me problem? <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I think everyone has difficulties with numbers and math. I think everyone has difficulties with every video I put on my channel. But we're not choosing videos because they're easy. We're choosing videos because we want to learn. Now, I think um, uh, this is a case where I don't know if uh, your blindness is part of the problem or you're just a whiny student. If uh, your blindness is part of this issue or how you visualize numbers or whatever, then I can understand. But uh, May, if you're just a whiny student, then I have no sympathy for you. I, I will scold you and say, stop whining learn numbers and i think it's the latter case not the former case i think you can do it all right let's look at layla's adjective order she did it again robin is an awesome tall white guy who i met at the beginning at the beginning i have 2023 okay i have to buy an elegant long thick wool jacket for warmth yeah so yeah your your use of the adjective order is correct but as i as i mentioned in the video uh, usually maximum we use three so when you're using four you use them correctly but it just sounds unnatural because native speakers usually don't use four five six seven eight adjectives so uh, I'm worried in your writing in the future, please do not put so many adjectives. For this assignment, okay, because that's what I'm checking. But for speaking or writing assignments, try to keep to a maximum, maximum of three. I recommend two adjectives when describing a noun. Uh, he sold his... Wait, he sold his slow old green car last month. Yeah, looks good. All good. All good for that. A plus for that homework. A plus score. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Teacher, have you been impressed by someone's homework? Uh, yeah, in the writing. Uh, in the writing, I've been impressed, but I, I don't think I'll be impressed anymore because more people are using uh, ChatGPT. So I can't really, I don't trust anyone's writing anymore, honestly. Am I, any student, I don't trust their writing anymore unless I actually see them writing <laughs> because uh, programs like ChatGPT just make life easier. And I know, I know students are using ChatGPT in my homework here. So it's very hard for me to trust uh, students' writing. So from today, it's really hard for me to be impressed by their writing. If I do homework, will you check my homework? Yeah, do it. You go back to any video, you do the homework, and I will I will check it. Robin, about listening test, I suggest you to make the audio of the video is a little more than other videos because we have to focus on the sound. A little more what? A little more what? Layla, I just... The audio, you know, a little more louder? Is that what you're trying to say? Turn the volume up? I noticed the last video listening test was a little lower compared to the other groups. Uh, I understand, uh, Layla, but actually those are not my videos, so it's kind of out of my control. Uh, it's not my videos. I 
they're out of my control. I the volume on the video is the maximum. Uh, it's not in my control, so I, I can't help with that, Layla. I understand your complaint, but I will try to look for more audio, louder audio, but it's out of my control. It's out of my control because it's not my video. And right here, you have to say, I suggest you make the audio video a little more louder or a little quieter. Oh, you want to say higher? Okay. You were probably right for the first point as I had difficulty learning math since I was in school. Well, me, I'm sh when it comes to money, you're terrible with money. That's usually what people are perfect with. Teacher, I don't use anything for homework. Teacher, you know you made ways to cheat by showing them websites with. Oh, I didn't. I didn't show the website. They, they my students showed me the websites. And uh, Palavi, a lot of students tell me, "Hey, Robin, I never cheat," but they cheat. I don't trust anyone, Palavi. I don't trust you. I don't trust Layla. I don't trust anyone anymore. You're not using some sort of help, but that's okay because I, I'm not checking these writing assignments in great detail anymore. Is Anna Maria still around? All right, let's go back. How come this oh, this person posted their homework? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, why did this person keep posting homework? It's too many times. Now, now, sweet. Okay, ten times he posted the same homework. I gotta. Got to get rid of nine of those. What is this? Oh, it's Palavi did the... Oh, look at that, what Palavi did. She counted the number on the thumbnail. Well, that impresses me, Palavi. There you go. Palavi just impressed me because the numbers video thumbnail, she tried to write out the number. Well, I'm impressed with that, Palavi. I didn't think I'd be impressed today, but there you go. Let's count it up. Seven trillion. That's right. And May cannot see, but I'll say it out. Seven trillion, 434 billion, 434 billion, yeah. 434 billion, 343 million, yeah. Uh, da, da, da. 786,000, okay. And uh, that was a number on my uh, thumbnail. I just put a random big number on my thumbnail and 543. Wow, that's good. Awesome. You did it. I'll put awesome. Perfect. There you go, Palavi. What is Chat GPT? Well, Victoria Sunny, go back, uh, go back a few weeks ago. I did a video on Chat GPT. Where is that video? Here it is. I'll put the link below in case you want to go check it out. So uh, I suggest you watch the video because Chat GPT is the future of the world. 
Uh, I mean, I am not able to use it all. Yeah, Layla. Well, you know, there's other programs. <laughs> Moving forward, that's just the new world. Everyone is going to use help. Chat GPT isn't available here as well. Well, that's, that's good or bad. I don't know. All right, let's check Sleepwalker. I'm not going to check the listening. I'm going to check grammar or something. Sleepwalker. All right, Sleepwalker did the numbers. So let's, let's get these numbers videos checked. Twenty-six thousand. That's correct. Three hundred fifty-one thousand. That's correct. One million and one. That's correct. Six hundred forty billion two hundred. Uh, that's correct. Seven hundred fifty-two billion and 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 three and three. Uh, and, well, no, something looks wrong here. Seven hundred fifty-two billion. 103,000. Okay, 781. Yeah, that's correct. Those are all correct. Those are correct. You got uh, nice. I like that nice review of numbers. Good, good. And I'm just going to put the answers here. And I know you have the answers. Perfect. And I will go here. And... Where is Sleepwalker? All right, perfect. You use Chat GPT? <laughs> Every time I check homework, did you use Chat GPT? Uh, let's check. Uh, Layla, 351,000. Yeah, it looks good. Let's put that in the board. Um, yeah, that's perfect. So Layla's okay. This Sunday, or yeah, this sun, upcoming Sunday, I'm going to film some new 100 questions videos. So these days I'm looking at some new models. All right, all good. All good for Anna. Ah, th this person keeps... Keeps posting. Now I'll sort. All right, remove. And she put periods, not commas, which is wrong. He or she, I don't know. Okay, that's checked. May, do you, do you still remember the travel questions homework? It hasn't been checked yet. The travel questions. I think I checked. Let's go back to five years ago, me. <laughs> uh, travel questions, daily English homework. I think I checked that in a live stream and maybe you were not in the live stream. And there it is. What is your country? Malaysia is the country where I'm from. Well, you wrote a lot. Yeah, you should be. Teach it. I wrote so much, teacher. Let's take a look at May's travel questions. 
What is your country? Malaysia is the country where I'm from. Why should I visit your country? Malaysia is a multicultural country. If you visit here, you will be able to see the variety of ethnic and cultures, such as our traditional clothing and performance, along with the different types of food. Oh, exactly the stuff I hate about traveling. <laughs> I am not a culture tourist. Uh I'm not interested in seeing traditional food, traditional dresses, traditional dances. Uh, that's really, you know, why? Because I've already seen so much of that in my life. You know, every country has their traditional stuff. And uh, it's not interesting to me. It's just not interesting. Uh, no, no, that's not a thing against Malaysia because, I mean, you know I love Malaysia. But certainly when I travel to Malaysia or any country, any country, the last thing I want to do is check out the variety of ethnic and culture. All right. You said, furthermore, we have some attractive islands here where you can relax at the beach. Now, now you are, you're winning me. We're winning me over. Relax at the beach. Enjoy the stunning view. Wow, now I like it. Tasting fresh seafood. Ugh, I hate seafood, so no. Rest assured, the expenses in Malaysia are affordable. Yes, so the first part, eh, second part, yeah. Uh, three, where should I visit your country? If you would like to view the beautiful beaches or are interested in islands activities, I suggest you visit Langkawi. I want to go there. Penang, yes. Uh, Kapas, whoa, you got some suggestions here that I am going to check on my map. Maps, Kapas. I'm on Google Maps, and there we go, Kapas Island. Oh, that's on the East Coast. I didn't know about that. Have you been there? Okay, that's on my radar. Ooh, ooh, okay, thanks for that. Capus Island, uh, Perentian, Perentian, I don't know how to pronounce that. Also in Malaya. Okay, that's also east. I didn't know there was some famous East Coast Islands. So, uh, famous for snorkeling. I've been snorkeling before, but I'm not a fan of snorkeling. It's not my thing. Kuala Lumpur, yeah, it's good. Equipped with many huge shopping malls. If you love shopping, and I don't, you should spend time here during your visit. Additionally, hiking spots are available in Malaysia. Well, okay. Some of the famous hiking trails are located nearby the waterfalls, picnic area, recreational park, and camping site. Okay, I'm more interested in the hiking. Can you meet me if I visit your country? I'm looking forward to meeting you during your visit. Well, May, you are certainly on the list to visit in the near future. And uh, when I go there, May, everything you suggested, we have to do together. So, yes, we have to go to some performance. We have to go to each island you listed together. And we have to go shopping together. We have to go hiking to the beach together. So everything you listed, we have to do. Wow, you wrote, uh, that's, that was a lot. I'm sorry I didn't check that. I, anyway, you, you wrote very well. So I'm going to say this was a great um, advertisement. <laughs> We did a good job. I should have, you know, I should have had a contest. Maybe I'll have a contest in the future. Whoever can win over my heart on travel, I will, I will give you a prize. Uh, 
Okay, the huge challenge with numbers, Layla says the huge chamber, the huge challenge with numbers when I want to say them, not writing them. Hmm. Chat GPT is better. Good. It's good. Layla. Malaysia is one of the beautiful countries in the world. Hey Layla, which country is not beautiful, Layla? Do you think? Which country is ugly? Let's check. Uh, I don't know why I didn't check this. I'm so stupid. Look at it. Sleepwalker wrote on. Okay. Let's take a look at Sleepwalker. Or Russia. Well, I do want to go to Russia, but Sleepwalker, are there tourists in Russia these days? And I don't know how I can get to Russia. I don't know. I don't think airplanes from countries I go to fly to Russia. We'll see. I am from Russia. You should visit Russia because it is a country with a long history and rich culture. Not sold yet. Russia is famous for its great poets, writers, artists, and scientists, composers, and cosmonauts. I agree with that. There are numerous unique natural attractions. Yes, historical and architectural monuments. Oh, this is too formal. You guys, both of you wrote too formal. A huge number of different nationalities live on the territory of Russia. Yeah, it's a big country, each of which is rich in its traditions, cuisine, customs, and music. Yeah, I'm not interested in each of their traditions, cuisines, customs, and musics. music. So there are many interesting places that are worth seeing. You should definitely visit Red Square. Yes, this is the heart of the capital, the main square of Russia. And definitely I will go there. It's just a matter of when. You, wow, you guys wrote so much about your countries. I should have another activity. You guys seem to like writing about it. I've never seen so many, so much writing. I don't know why I missed this video. In Red Square, you can see St. Basil's Cathedral. Yeah, a monument to Minin and Pozarsky, the mausoleum of... Uh, Vladimir, I don't know his middle name, Lenin, and the Historical Museum. The Moscow Kremlin is located near Red Square. On the territory of the Kremlin, there are cathedrals, monuments, and one of the main treasures of Russia, the Armory Museum. The walls and towers of the Kremlin form a beautiful architectural ensemble. You should visit the Tretch. Tretyakov Gallery. This is the largest Russian museum where famous artworks are collected. Okay, maybe I would go there. You should see the Bolshoi Theater. This is a historical opera and ballet theater in Moscow. Mm -hmm. St. Petersburg is one of the most beautiful cities in the world, probably. Palace Square with the magnificent... Mag Did you go to St. Petersburg? St. Petersburg? Palace Square, with the magnificent building of the Winter Palace, is its main attraction. The Hermitage is a museum with one of the most extensive collections of artistic masterpieces in the world. And you're not finished. You are trying to sell Russia to me. You don't. You don't have to try much because uh, certainly I want to visit Russia as soon as I can. But these days, is not so easy. You should visit Peterhof. It is a palace and park ensemble on the southern coast of the Gulf of Finland. I'm going to check that one. Peterhof. I never heard of that. It's down here. The cities of the Golden Ring of Russia, its route that unites eight ancient, oh, this gets interesting, ancient Russian cities where you can see beautiful monasteries and churches. Eh, I'm not a church, monastery, temple, mosque guy because I've seen so many. Kazan, okay, Baco is the minimum. Yeah, I want to go there. Altay Mountains. Have you been to all these places? People always recommend, you should go here, you should go here. But they never went themselves. 
The Valley of the Geysers. Well, that looks inter interesting. The Valley of the Geysers. Uh, I can't find that. I don't think you went there. The Kamchatka Peninsula. So I do want to go to. Uh, that's pretty far. That's that's over here. That's a pretty far place to go. I don't think many people go there. And the most important thing, if you come to Russia, we can meet. No, you should say we will meet. It would be very disappointing if I go to Russia and I do not see not see you. May says the islands are more than six hours journey from KL. Time is not the problem. Uh, I won't check the. I don't. I won't check the listening activities in in the the listening activities. There's not much to check. You just check. You check it yourself. You look at the script. I will briefly look at what you did, and most of you do a good job. But it's up to you if you want to match the script exactly. You could just check the script. Yeah, uh, Saudi Arabia is just desert and mountains and sea. Yeah, let's check. Uh, let's check Layla's. I guess we'll check Layla's now. I can see what Layla said about traveling after I went there. You guys are competing for the longest. I'll get to all the old homework eventually. The country is Saudi Arabia. Why should you visit? Why should I visit your country? You should because you haven't been to my country yet. And the main and the most important reason to visit my country is to meet me in person. Yes, you know that I have been waiting for you a long time and we met. Where should I visit your country? You should visit these cities, Tabuk. I have. I, I didn't visit those cities. Al Hufuf, yes. Yeah, we went to those things. Can you yeah, absolutely we can meet and have fun? More of a meeting will be the biggest honor for me. It was an honor for me too, Layla. It's it's it just seems normal that I went to meet you. We met me in January, 2023. So we can come back in 10 years and look at this again. I couldn't even post it all together. Yeah. I've been to St. Petersburg, of course. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go there. It will be amazing. I'm sure I will. Uh, no, I haven't been to all these places. Russia is so big. But all the places you listed, you have to take me. That's the rule. If you say, Robin, you should visit this place, that means you have to take me. So we have to go to uh, here. you got to take me here to Kamchatka Peninsula to look at the Valley of the Geysers. I, I'm expecting that. I didn't do the traveling homework that day because I, well, you never know when I'm going to India. I stop in India many times. And let's see what you put. You said, teacher Robin, when you come to visit me, maybe I just want to say sorry to you, teacher, because I really bothered and annoyed you a lot. Also, I disrespect you so much, teacher. And I will see you one day.
he has visited. I've been to India three times in the future. Uh, yeah, I'll be back there many more times. He is very far from my... Oh, don't complain. Kamchatka. I think Kamchatka is very far from everyone in the world. <laughs> That's very far from everyone. It's one of the best precious memories of my life so far. I really love them more than anything else. Okay. Well, next time I go back, I can rent the car and drive around. And that, that homework was six months ago. Wow. You guys have to. I tr I try to keep up with the homework, but that's one I should have checked earlier. I should have checked that one a lot earlier. Jeez, I don't know why I forgot about that one. I was delaying it, delaying it, and then uh, I did it. All right, I'm going to end the live stream. We, we didn't uh, keep checking homework alone. probably check the yeah I'll check the last few days homework right now and then uh, I'm not uploading a video today I'm, I'm going to give a little bit of a break for people to catch up on the homework and uh, maybe I won't upload a video for a few days I don't know oh I had a I had a good idea for a video today actually I might upload one tomorrow we'll see Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the future. Oh, tomorrow there will be another live stream by Jack uh, in a different channel, so watch out for that. Tomorrow, same time, Jack will be doing a live stream about vocabulary. So stay in the chat groups. Watch for that link. Okay, goodbye.